Okay, hi everyone, a uh, little update again here. So, switched back to the old setup from the past, which worked really well, uh, just out of curiosity. So, um, got a little 60 watt halogen here. It's one of these like hot light guys. And the output I've got ringing about 100 kilohertz. Uh, the resonator here, close to 400 kilohertz, 419 kilohertz or so. Um, with the ferrite inside, uh, and both of them together, uh, just without my oscilloscope, I'm not sure at the moment, but uh, one thing that's neat here is this aluminum plate uh, around the outside edge of the thing. So instead of putting anything inside the core other than the ferrite, uh, the plate is going uh, straight to the ground basically so uh, we'll go and adjust that dramatic drop and if I get too close goes down as well so it's kind of a sweet spot where at that point we kind of know that there's not anything else no greater amplitude coming out of there so uh, with the synchronization that's coming with the Schmidt trigger and um, some other technique that uh, Geofusion's channel was uh, showing so with and without the Tesla coil. And it looks like the push-pull is still ringing the resonator in some way uh, because the neon is still lit without the Tesla coil and the circuit feedback LEDs are really bright. Uh, when they go orange like that they are usually being overcurrented. So switch the Tesla coil back on, off, on, off. So pretty nice boost with the Tesla coil on. And then we'll adjust the uh, ferrite a little bit. So the slightest adjustment on that changes things. I'm pulling it right out. Still got a ring on everything, but definite drop in performance. A uh, slight boost here with uh, the ferrite just inside the one. And actually I'll have to check uh, what the voltage is ultimately, but seem to be the best while inside both. Uh, it's tough to. Well, yeah. So that is definitely brighter than when I first had the video on. So. Right now, we are drawing about 95, 94 watts with everything on. So with Tesla running and the push-pull, it's uh, not quite, you know, 100% efficient or anything. But um, right now, the phasing of the Tesla coil and the output are you know, just kind of wishy-washy, so we need them to be locked on the same phase. And when that happens, I uh, might expect some better performance than this even, so. But right now, uh, compared to any time in the past, uh, this is the best performance I've seen. And I also got a good increase uh, with the ground now. So I'll pull my ground off, which I don't like to do for very long because uh, the <laughs> neon lights up on all the bodies of everything and the cases and 
the components are just getting RF'd like crazy, so anyway, I'll pull the ground off briefly. <laughs> of course, now it's not doing it. Here, just a sec. the ground on okay so yeah it seemed like I had to tweak the ferrite just the slightest bit more just to get it to the I don't know the peak I guess of standing wave peak and now with the ground off big time drop hi daddy <laughs> hi Andrew. The current does drop down to about 70 volts with the ground off, but I don't like to leave that off too long because, like I said, uh, the neon basically lights up on everything, whereas now it stays nicely out. Careful, Hunter. Take the ground off again. Now we can see... <laughs> Neon's lighting up on everything, but it's not great. Light goes out, plus gets RF'd. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon.